Every Tuesday right here, we ask the question, what's growing with Chief Meteorologist Tom O'Hare? Yeah, sometimes I ask the question, why did the chicken cross the road? Because! And this week, Tom shows well us how done. to take care of our lawns. <laughs> Let's check it out. Well, welcome back, everyone. We're here at Morgan Composting, uh, Sears, Michigan, the home of Dairy Dew, and Justin Morgan joining me again. And Justin, no big surprise, the lawn is so thick and lush. It better be, right? Yeah, right? Um, um, what's the big thing about you guys to put in this stuff? I mean, it's Dairy Dew, what else? We focus on the soil. You know, the lawn is like kind of a representation of what's going on underneath you know, the grass, right? Yeah. So the roots and stuff may have a nice, root, healthy root base. And a lot of times we're in sandy soils, especially in northern Michigan. We are, period. So, yeah. right? <laughs> so in order to hold the moisture and the nutrient, we need to help raise that organic matter. Right, of and, course. You know, by using the Safe Green Lawn, um, we do put dairy dew in there. Yeah. There's other things in there that has high organic matter, like humates from North Dakota. And we really kind of base that around how do we really have a healthy soil. Okay, now again, what does explain 1004.5 CA? What exactly does it mean to everyone? Yep, so the, it's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and then calcium. So the nitrogen's a 10, and then because we live in the great state of Michigan, we yep. gotta be really careful about algae bloom yes. and around lakes, rivers, and streams. So we put no phosphorus in our safe green lawn because we don't want to have phosphorus creates algae bloom. Right. So we keep all the phosphorus out of there. And then the last one is uh, uh, potash. And then we need that for health, the roots, the really healthy roots underneath. All right, now, I know you recommend this, what, four times a year, right? And we're about that time of year, right? Yeah, at least three to four times a year. And we always want to kind of hang our head on the holidays. So we got a big holiday coming up, right? Oh, Labor yeah, Day's right do. around the it's corner. Right. Yep. And it's time to feed our lawn again, you know, going into fall, late fall, winter. This will be a really good time to feed with this product. Gotcha. And I know you have a, a big spreader here. You got a bit more of a larger area. You don't need to have a big guy like this, do you? No, you could do a bag spreader. You know, this product is granulated product, so we make it here in Michigan, right in the big town of Marion. Yep. And, um, you know, it's a nice product to, to spread. So what we do in Marion, we, we pelletize it, okay, and then um, we'll put the dairy dew, we'll put a recipe in there together, mix it, and then pelletize it, and then we run it through a granulator, which is like a crumbler, right? and then it'll be in this form, which will flow through a bag spreader, just everybody's push spreader will go through, or mm -hmm. if you have a larger lawn like here at Home of Dairy Dew, right. we'll use a little larger spreader to spread our lawn. And, a key, and Again, do we need to wait to a dry day? Can it be put on there wet at the same time? Is there certain conditions needed? Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter about the moisture. Just don't ruin your lawn, you know, by making indents in your lawn. So, gotcha. but that would be the only thing. But it would not matter. And then once the moisture hits that pellet, it helps swell and then it helps hold. And you can see how it's brown. So it helps hold that organic matter in our grow zone, unlike salt-based fertilizer, which just leaches through into our aquifer. This is not a salt-based fertilizer. This is organic material that helps build our soils. All right, so what, time to put down the Yeah, fertilizer. yeah, let's, down, go, right? let's, let's see what we can do here. All right. Hey, Justin, looks pretty good here. Uh, I'll set the drop and go. Yeah, I'll go. All right. Pretty simple, and you know, while Justin's doing this, you know what, next week, we're, we're still talking dairy do stuff, we're talking about food plots. We planted ours, what, a month and a half ago, We'll show you how they're doing and give you an update what you can do to make them even better. That's next week.